Hello everyone, this is Mickey and in today's tutorial we will see how to link layers together. This is a short tip but it does help a lot. So to do that what I have, I have one background image and then I'm gonna bring two PNG files in it. So I open this and then what I'm doing is I'm clicking on this image and holding my click button. So actually I have to select the move tool. So holding this image and then I'm gonna here, still holding it, I'm gonna drop it, the cat will be here. The second image I'm gonna bring is the bicycle to get this image, I'm gonna do it other way. So I'm using my control C and control or command C or command V button. So I'm clicking it, control C, coming to my background layer and control V. So whatever the way you wanna follow, you can do that. And let me just bring cat on the top of the bicycle. So, and there is one more thing, let me actually, with the use of ellipse tool, let me make, uh, let, actually let me make a new layer, and then in this layer, I'm just making a selection, and to paste the foreground color, I can use option delete, if I'm gonna press option delete, I will be getting the, uh, this color, the foreground color, and then if I'm gonna use the command delete, I will be getting the background color. So after this, uh, actually, you know, I still want this one. So I'm gonna move this layer now. Now what I want, or also to deselect this, either you can right click and do deselect, or the other option is you can use the shortcut Command D to deselect that selection. Now what I want is I want to these I want these layers to be linked. So if I do one thing to that layer, that happens to the other layers too. For an example, now. This layer is selected. Now, if I move this layer with the move tool, my this layer doesn't move. Now, if I select the bicycle layer, put it right here, and then on the, I want, you know, cat on uh, sitting on top of the bicycle. And then I also want to transform the cat, like, you know, change the image. So the shortcut I'm using is control T, and then I can change the size. But whatever the layer I am selecting, happens to that layer only but i want is if i transform my cycle all the three layers work together so to do that i'm just holding the shift shift key and then i'm gonna i already pressed on layer one and then i'm gonna press on layer three so whatever the layers are in between one and three will be selected or you can select it one by one as well and if you see here there are two options now two ways to do that Either I can right click on any of the layer, the selected layers, and I can do link layers. Or the other way is I can just press this link layer button, and then all the layers are linked together. Now, if I select any of the layer, and then, so I have selected the bicycle, and then I move it. So you'll see all the three layers are, you know, moving together. If I'm gonna select layer one, which is cat, and then I'm gonna move the cat, it's gonna do this way. So does for the layer three. Also, if I uh, transform any of the image, so I want to increase the size of this, and then I'm gonna press Control T. Now, the size of all the three layers will be increased or decreased together. I have decreased the size and I'm gonna press Enter. And if you wanna unhide any of the layer, you can unhide that as well. And to Unlink the layers, again, you know, I have to press the shift command, select the layers, either the same way, either I can right click and then unlink the layers, or I can simply click this button and my all the layers are unlinked. So you will be uh, you will be able to see a link sign here. So that's a pretty quick, quick tip, but it does help a lot when you are designing and when you have number of layers which you want to move together or work on together. So thanks for, watching this video and if you like the video please subscribe and like my channel thank you have a good day